Hey guys, it's uh, Coach Ron. Just doing my weekly uh, YouTube post. And I uh, just want to thank everybody for all the support, um, all the questions, and uh, just basically the way I've been letting this uh, whole project drive itself is just based off of the questions and the uh, and the inquiries by uh, the folks that are following me. All six of us, man, standing strong. So those people that subscribe, those people that uh, are getting something out of this, cool. Um, you know, um, uh, that's that's the main reason I I'm doing it. So primarily, what uh, what I've been getting hit up about is um, programming, um, strength, and uh, still being able to stay all CrossFitty and still being able to do whatever sport that they want and how with the conjugate stuff we go about doing that but also uh, the predominant thing that's coming out there nowadays is I'm hurt or I have this injury or old injury and I just really haven't been able to do what I want to do how can I strengthen it now um, again I'm not a doctor um, I've never claimed to be one but uh um, through the vast majority of injuries and stuff that I've had, I tend to be uh, very proactive and, and I'm sure I'm a, I'm a doctor's worst nightmare because whenever they're doing anything, I'm asking all kinds of questions and uh, asking if there's any alternatives and, uh, um, and everything else. So they, you could tell they take a deep sigh like, <sighs> one of these guys. So that's always been my approach. So I recommend that you talk to your doctor um, or whoever your primary physician is. Uh, get a good diagnosis and uh, then ultimately you're going to make the decisions based off of uh, what they uh, tell you and uh, what you think's best for you. Okay, so uh, let's talk about probably the most primary uh, issue that I've been hit up on and I've actually suffered from myself and I don't care whether you're in a sport or you do office work, you've had this issue and that's, uh, that is low back pain. Um, and let's not forget about neck pain and uh, um, a lot of people when they talk about oh yeah hey my spy got issues with my spine they don't ever talk about the neck and uh, from a conjugate standpoint we hammer the neck pretty hard and I think anybody um, uh, especially contact sports even ball sports like soccer and other things like that um, uh, and combat sports you have to work your neck that has to be a normal uh, uh, consistent effort to strengthen those muscle groups uh, and there's a variety of ways of doing that um, I posted a quick little shadow video of me doing some uh, neck harness band stuff um, off of a, uh, one of the rigs uh, you don't even need all that if you got a band um, you can do that uh, you can just put it in a door wrap it around a door handle and you can do you know um, extension or hyperextension flexion uh, lateral flexion um, I don't even know what the latest terms are for all this stuff I'm just going off when when I actually went to college what they called it um, speaking of that let me digress just a tad um, the Nikki Sauls aka 1% um, my stepdaughter just graduated from Cal State San Bernardino um, with a undergraduate degree in kinesiology which mine was exercise science from the University of New Mexico okay um, back in 1995 if I have to date myself she was the number one undergraduate student in natural sciences so I got to give her a shout out and I also got to give a shout out her mom and I are getting a huge raise now that she's out of school so uh, uh, way to go Jojo's aka one percenter um, very proud of you and uh, I know if you continue to work hard you're gonna have nothing but the best back to I might even edit that out I don't know but um, back to the neck issue uh, even if you don't have access to a band you can do static stuff you can have a partner hold your head here while you do static you have to hold it from behind side to side you can do like a weight plate with uh, um, if you know you take your shirt off or put some sort of towel or something right there and you could hit it just for reps and here's the thing do time pieces do rep pieces do failure pieces do whatever it is that challenges that area that's weak and or has the previous injury not to the point that you aggravate and jack it all back up okay um, but uh, that that you're able to keep doing it um, and and that's just on the neck if you don't have some wazoo neck machine or you know I mean those things are thousands and thousands of dollars and and uh, 
Um, the only thing that's going to hamper you on that is your creativity. Um, and uh, uh, that's with regards to the neck. Um, your thoracic spine or your mid-back, uh, it's very rare to have any sort of injuries unless you have some sort of underlying pathology or anything like that. Um, but you're looking for things that are going to decompress um, as well as strengthen. So you're primarily going to have your lats and your tra your trapezius muscles pretty huge back there along with some other smaller muscle groups. You're going to have to figure out with all the ways those fibers run in there, just different ways to hit it, man. You know, I mean, uh, whether you're doing pull-ups, whether you're doing bent over rows, whether you're doing, you know, uh, 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 back extensions, which are different than hip extensions. Um, uh, but uh, there's tons of different ways you can do that. And then uh, just kind of go by feel is uh, what I recommend. And um, uh, that's pretty much it. I use a variety of decompression stuff um, for my spine. And longevity-wise, being in my mid-40s, that's paid off a huge, um, uh, huge benefits for me. I have an inversion table that I've had for years. Um, I do uh, some neck stuff with the band and like a towel where I hang it from a doorknob and actually just lay out and I'll lay there for like 10 minutes. I, I've even fallen asleep there and woke up like 20 minutes later and my freaking years have been asleep. Okay, and it's been rather uncomfortable, but uh, um, you want to decompress those areas that feel kind of cruddy. Um, and as we move down the spine into the low back, um, uh, being a conjugate guy and a West Side uh, disciple, if you want to call me that, uh, um, one of the huge things that Louis Simmons invented was the reverse hyper. Um, decompresses, deloads the spine, as well as strengthens the glutes, hamstrings, and low back, um, all at the same time. Uh, if you have access to one of those, I would recommend live on that thing every day, okay, um, literally. Um, if you don't have that, um, I would recommend like any sort of the back extension, um, reverse back extension, um, reverse. Um, there's tons of things you can do. Uh, banded good mornings, good mornings um, to uh, strengthen those areas. And again, don't, don't light them all up to where they hurt, but uh, uh, get them challenged and uh, you can play around with it. Uh, another one that I did, I was, dude, Snapchatted clown the whole nine yards. Okay, it was when I found uh, banded or belted banded walks where you put a weight belt around your uh, waist, ran a band through it, connected it, uh, stepped on it with your feet and you'd walk around for like time or reps or anything. I found that um, through one of the uh, conjugate, I believe it was conjugate fitness because I just, you know, do stuff. I can't tell you how bad I got clowned on that. And I've been doing that for about a year now. All you haters out there, trust me, I monitor the YouTubes and whatnot and see you guys doing that stuff. So I ain't mad. I'm just mad you didn't do it back then. But uh, I see you. Okay, so just keep it up. Do your thing. Be awesome. Um, and uh, that's it. Till the next time. Remember, thumbs down, pinkies up. Peace. Hey, if this helped you, like, subscribe. Um, ask some comments or questions in the uh, comments thing if, uh, if you have any additional stuff. Otherwise, uh, see you around. Peace.